Hey everyone, today I want to talk about a very important musical concept. In fact, it's probably one of the most important musical concepts and one of the first musical concepts that you learned when you were in kindergarten. And that, that is the idea of a steady beat, the idea of beat. Now, uh, one thing I've got to point out right from the beginning is that there's a lot of you that might think you know what beat is from a just context of, of common talking, what, what people usually say versus what a beat actually is as far as the concept of music. A lot of the time you'll hear someone talk about a cool drum beat uh, when they, they heard some um, something that was going on inside a piece of music, which um, is not really a beat. That is actually a rhythm. Um, what makes something a beat is that it is a steady a uh, repeating pattern every pulse is the exact same length dot 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 that's a steady beat and the reason um a steady beat is such an important idea is it's what allows us to play music together if all of us were just playing on our own, just whatever notes, nothing would ever, ever mesh or fit. Um, and what's really super important about a steady beat is that sometimes in music, we're all playing different ideas, different rhythms, different melodies at the same time. But it's the steady beat that remains the same between those things that makes it all uh, fit together. If we don't keep a steady beat as a band, we'd never be able to play together. Um, there's a number of ways that you could show the steady beat. Uh, you could uh, snap your fingers, you can clap your hands. You could make a movement that doesn't make any sound at all. Um, conductors are used to showing the steady beat all the time. We conduct with our arms, showing the steady beat uh, to the uh, to the group, to the orchestra, to the band, so that they can play together. I'm going to play uh, a couple of examples for you, and I want you to listen carefully, and then. Um, I'm going to ask you to show me the steady beat. Now, obviously, I can't see you. This is a pre-recorded lesson. I want you to show. I want you to feel the steady beat along with the music, and I will show you the steady beat after I've given you a few moments to feel it on your own. Uh, so, there's a number of of examples here that are each of different styles. So, take a listen to this. Feel the steady beat in your own, and then I'll show it to you in just a moment. So here's the steady beat. My fingers are touching exactly at the moment the beat happens. You can hear uh, tubas and low pitched instruments playing exactly that steady beat over and over again. Here's another example, a different style of music. I'll give you a moment to feel the steady beat, then I'll show you the steady beat. Now you might find more than one steady beat in here. You might feel this steady beat, which looks pretty slow, or you can find the beat inside the beat. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. There's a lot of music you'll hear that has more than one uh, steady beat to it, a pulse inside a pulse. Listen to this piece. Here's the beat. And finally, here's one last example. This one is a little bit more contemporary. Listen to the steady beat that's going here. Now, uh, that was easy to hear the beat, feel the beat in that one with the, the drums were thumping along. Remember, though, the, the, uh, the beat is da, 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 
not do that da do that da do da da do that da 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 da. That's a rhythm that you heard other instruments playing, but the steady beat is just the pulse that's inside there. A lot of the time when we're playing in band, we'll feel the pulse while the band is playing by tapping our feet. So they hit the ground exactly on each beat. So the same way I'm doing it with my fingers, my foot is also tapping. Why don't you try just for a moment? Tapping your foot exactly with my fingers. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. It's really important that we're always able to feel that steady beat because it's what allows us to play together. Uh, let me play a different example for you now. This is a this piece of music is a little more plain. It's just a piano playing a simple melody. I'd like you to find the beat inside this. This is important because I'm going to use the same piece in a couple other lessons uh, that you're also going to hear this week that uh, that talk about beat and rhythm and melody. Find the steady beat in this piece. Now, again, there might be two different beats that you're feeling in this one. You might feel this beat. Or you might feel this beat. One is the big beat or the macro beat. The other is the smaller beat, the beat inside of the beat, which we also call the micro beat. But it's important we can always feel that pulse, tapping our foot, snapping our fingers, clapping our hands. Uh, when you're playing, obviously, the only thing of those that you can do is making sure that you're tapping your foot. And when I'm playing my trumpet, I tap my foot and I make sure that I'm everything I play on my trumpet matches the beat that my foot is making when it's touching the floor. In marching band, we have to move our feet to the beat uh, by tapping our feet or marching our feet left, right, left, right. Some students, when they tap their feet to the beat of the music when they're playing, they tap their feet left, right, left, right. Instead of just tapping one foot, they're tapping both feet, alternating to really help them feel not just the beat, but which beat of the measure they're on, whether it's on beat one or beat two, beat three or beat four, they can tell by which foot is on the ground. Now, let me show you this. Uh, if we're um, keeping the steady beat in a piece of music, we need a way that we can write it down. And the way we write down a steady beat uh, in most musical playing beginning band is with this symbol, or with these symbols, I should say. Those are called quarter notes, and they are the symbol that represents one beat of music. So what I've written up there uh, is one, two, three, four. I've written uh, four sounds, each one lasts one beat. So this uh, would be a piece of music that was just a steady beat. Do, 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 do. In fact, let me play it for you. Now, uh, a beat can be either fast or slow, as we've heard before. That was a fairly fast beat. I could also slow the tempo, slow the speed down, and we'd hear the same thing played at a slower beat. Listen to it now. Now, the homework that I need you to be thinking of before you do the next lesson is think about the steady beat that you hear in music around you. The next time you're listening to music on the radio or on Spotify or anywhere else, 
can you find the steady beat in that piece of music? The next time you're watching something on TV or YouTube or, or you're watching a movie, can you find the steady beat in the music that's playing that goes along with that? We're going to come back for another lesson that's also posted to Google Classroom uh, about finding the rhythm because we've already talked about the rhythm and beat are different things. We're going to use one of the songs we listen to today and figure out a way that we can write that rhythm down by finding the steady beat and then finding where the long and the short sounds are. That's it for now. Thanks for stopping by.